Welcome to another episode of The Power of Small. A few months ago, one of our clients sent us this material. Look at this, nice granular chunks. This used to be their leftover product and some mismatched product that they would grind up and then they'd have problems processing this. This is a polyethylene foam and apparently it's really, really hard to mold. Well, what we did is we molded it. And without any problem, we were able to turn that polyethylene foam back into blocks. Nice lightweight blocks with a similar density to the original pellets they sent us. And no problem at all. We were able to demonstrate that we have no voids. The product is great. We just cut it into little pieces like this just to demonstrate that everything is working well. So now what we're able to do is take their waste product and make it back into blocks for them to make new products with again. And then they challenged us. They said, okay, that's great. So the old stuff that's lying around and we chip it up, that's great. But what happens with the stuff from our CNC machines? And we said, no problem, we'll make you something. Then what they gave us is this material. This is literally what comes off when you CNC the polyethylene foam into finished product. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go over here and dump this into the machine. And then I'm going to run it for a moment just so that you can see how consistent and even we can feed this shredded plastic that is literally the leftovers from CNC machining. And as you can see, there we go. It's starting to feed. It's going to grab more and more material. It's got a little bit of air in at the beginning, and then as it gets some traction, it'll just start coming out at a nice even rate. And there you have it. We're taking 100% waste plastic, and we're making it into finished goods. And that is the power of small recycling plastic 100%. And now I'm just going to uh, stop the extruder cut off this little excess that I'll have to recycle again next time and now we're ready to attach the mold now we're just attaching a mold this is a manual mold this is the way our extruder can be used for making small prototype molds so if you just need five or ten or twenty proof of concept parts this is a way that we can help you to build a very low cost tool now all I do is I start the molding process and the machine will automatically fill this mold and pack it. Now what we've done is we've allowed 15 or 20 minutes to go by. The mold has now been cooled down and we're ready to take it apart. What I've done is I've used this air tool and undone the bolts. And you might look at this and go, oh my god, that's very primitive, that's very crude. Yeah, it is. This is a mold that is not used for production. This is a mold that is used if you need 10 or 20 pieces or if you want to test new materials and you don't want to take a risk of anything getting stuck or if you only need five parts a month this might be the most cost effective way so you're going to spend maybe 10 minutes of your time taking it apart and putting it together this gets you started now so here we are we're just going to take the bolts out now that we've finished loosening them And now, as you can see, I just open it up, and there's my molded part. You see, these test molds can come apart easily. They're lightweight, easy to handle. What we've got is a really perfect part. It's flat, it's smooth on all sides. It's really good. And just think about it. Half an hour ago, that part was just this material. Now we're going to just take it. And we're going to take it to the shop and I'm going to cut it. And we're going to take a look inside to show you that it's just as great a part on the inside as the outside. As you can see here, it's a beautiful product. 